Rob, there's a, like an international day of the dead uh, coming up this weekend for some cultures. And what we read uh, in the passage is um, we're only reading about the death of the, the ego, right? So how do we explain, you know, this life after the death of the ego? No. We we don't need to to explain that. It's like, why are they happy? They're already celebrating that, right? And then uh, they're happy because there is life after death, and that's what makes them happy. People think that after this life, there's another life, and. They're right. They're actually right. And they're also right in being happy about it. It's good that we're getting rid of this life, even though we need to get rid of it in a different way, where we come where the where death is found between the states where the, our will to receive simply the, a certain will to receive dies and we continue in the will to bestow and then we connect by that we connect to the spiritual world where we don't live in the will to re, in, in order to receive which is called the corporeal body but in order to receive to bestow called the spiritual body or the soul and then we're happy about this corporeal body in order to receive dying because by dying it, it it's actually the meaning is that it takes on the form of the soul the body doesn't disappear the will to receive it only takes on a different shape in order to bestow so yeah should be happy about this and uh, celebrate it. That's how it should be.